The yeah. growing food is no longer an issue of climate, an issue of weather, an issue of distance. It can be done everywhere. Because it's optimized. Exactly, because the best day is inside the containers, wherever you want it and whenever you want it. I'm on my way to meet the CEO of a super innovative ag tech company that's changing the future of farming. Hey, hey Guy, how are you doing? See you. Hey, great to see you. Guy's company, Vertical Fields, is bringing farming out of the fields and into urban areas, where vertical farms created in shipping containers can be stored right outside your neighborhood supermarket. Today there's a farmers in the rural area, and it has to take it all the way from the rural area to the place that people are living, which usually is the urban area. It goes through warehouses and shipment, transportation, climate change in between the spots. And at the end of the day, it has the costs, the environmental impacts, and of course, the level of health and the quality of the produce. And basically, the vertical farming is saying the following. Let's save all this journey from the farmers all the way to the retailers or to the consumers and make it more economically, more environmental, in a way that the produce at the end of the day has higher level of vitamins, nutrition, and freshness. The vertical farming system created by this company allows them to grow greens, herbs, and lettuce using technology that not only works in this environment, but actually creates higher and better yields than the same plants grown in traditional farming methods. So you're saying that regardless of what's going on outside, you're able to, you know, day in, day out, grow consistently quality fresh plants wherever you are in the world. That's exactly the idea. Growing food is no longer an issue of climate, an issue of weather, an issue of distance. It can be done everywhere. Because it's optimized. Exactly. Because the best day is inside the containers, wherever you want it and whenever you want it. Guy, can we go into the belly of the beast? With pleasure. So Guy, we see in here all your technology coming together. Plants, the water, the lighting, it's, it's a lot going on in here. Right. The irrigation is being done precisely with less water. The produce are being harvested in a very easy to use way, like you take it out. So we're using every square feet in a multiply of five, six, seven times more. So you feel the moisture. Uh, outside it was, war it was cold and dry. We come in here, it's moist and, exactly. and warm in here. Exactly. Can we take apart some of these pieces and see how it looks yeah, inside? Yeah, let's, let's look at this lettuce. The lettuce becomes bigger in that. 14, 15 days from now, the consumer gets it in a very fresh and living status. And only when the consumer wants to eat it, he harvests the texture and take the soil out, and then he gets the best, freshest produce. At the end of the day, God invented plants to grow inside the soil, and that's exactly what we're trying to do, and to add the ecosystem to grow it properly. With vertical fields in the picture, the future of farming looks bright, fresh, and healthy for suppliers, consumers, and our precious earth. To have the food available, accessible, and simple. Simplicity is the, the basic ideas of this farm. A person that is not skilled can go and operate that and have food wherever you want it and whenever you want it. You're solving all these problems at once, and the solution is incredible. And you have fresh food again and again and again, as long as it's up and running. Exactly, that's exactly the idea. Shalom from Jerusalem. Today we have a special honor to have with us Mr. Hanan Schneider. Hanan is the CEO of Millennium Food Tech. Shalom Hanan, tell us about yourself and about Food Tech. First of all, thank you very much for having me in this amazing scene of Jerusalem. Millennium Food Tech is a publicly traded venture capital fund which invests only in Food Tech with alternative protein, extending shelf life, dealing with organic waste, packaging, industry for zero to food and beverage companies, etc. Because food tech is going to be the science of the future. When we talk about Israel as a leading country in food tech, do you think that has to do with the fact that we live in a tough neighborhood, that because of the neighborhood, Israel has to be more self-sufficient, depending on themselves? I think it's more about the innovation in Israel. Israel considered to be the innovation hub of the world, and it's considered to be now the food tech hub of the world. And this is why all the world are looking at Israel to see what mm. comes in this area of mm. food tech. 
from Israel. We like stories. Can exactly. You, can you tell us a story about one company that does something which is worth hearing? Yeah, I, so I think that the story of Alepharm is very, very interesting. What's Alepharm? Alepharm is a cultured meat company mm -hmm. that is now producing a minute steak, cultured minute steak that is produced in the lab, and hopefully in the next two to three years, we will see it in our supermarkets. Wow. Now, the tissue culture or the, the stem cell that scientists in the Technion tried, tried to heal in the wounded people. So from that, they were able to transform or converge this technology mm -hmm. to the area of Futek oh, and to take the stem cells from the cow and produce in the lab cultured meat. Is it going to taste the same on the barbecue? Yeah, it's a very good question. We invest only where we can feel, touch, and taste that the me... product. Mm -hmm. So I ate that, and it's good. Hanan, when I think about food tech, and I look in, on our region, I, I'm sure that Israel can be a solution for the whole region. Yeah, this is a very, very good point. Nuva, which is the, the biggest Israeli dairy and food company, did a deal with United Emirates um, uh, company to transfer a technology that was developed in Israel to there in order to support the food security schemes. Another way that Israel is being a blessing and a light to the nations around us. Beautiful. Hanan, thank you very much. What a great honor. Hey, I'm Mati Shoshani, and thank you for watching the TBN Israel YouTube channel. We hope this video gave you greater understanding of Israel and her people. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. We'd love to hear from you, so be sure to share what you've learned and ask your questions and comments below. And invite your friends to join the conversation.